The place, Appomattox County, Virginia. The date, April 9, 1865. The occasion, Lee surrenders to Grant. As the sun rose on April 9th, Robert E. Lee still clung to the belief his war was not over. Two days earlier, after the Confederates had suffered a catastrophic defeat at the Battle of Sailor's Creek, Grant asked Lee to surrender and declared any further effusion of blood was solely Lee's responsibility. But Lee, still believing he could escape Grant, declined to surrender and ask about the possibility of a peace agreement. Grant replied he could consider only a military surrender. Hopefully, Lee thought, there was only a thin line of Union cavalry ahead of him that he could smash through, find supplies and rations, and then turn south to march to North Carolina to continue the fight. Ulysses Grant had ridden west all morning toward the fighting, knowing he was drawing near to the end of the Army of Northern Virginia. Now, as the sun continued to rise, Lee's hopes were dashed by the arrival of thousands of Union infantry, including United States colored troops, who had marched most of the night to block his way south. By 8 a.m., Lee knows his war is over and sends a letter to Grant. Grant is south of Lee's army, in the outskirts of Appomattox County, when the message arrives. He sends Staff Officer Orville Babcock with his reply, agreeing to meet and telling Lee to select a meeting site. Lee dispatches Charles Marshall into the village to find a suitable home for the meeting. Marshall arrives at the property of Wilmer McLean, and after rejecting an abandoned, unfinished building as unsuitable, McLean offers the use of his home. Sometime after 1 p.m., Lee arrives at the McLean house and waits with Marshall and Babcock. Grant and his staff arrive half an hour later. There is no formal surrender document. The surrender is conducted through an exchange of two short letters, Grant's a mere five sentences long, and Lee's reply bearing only three very short, terse sentences. The heart of the terms had already been outlined for Lee in letters the two generals had exchanged over the two previous days. By 3 p.m., it was over. The formal copies of the letters indicating the terms and acceptance of the surrender were signed and exchanged, and General Lee left the McLean house to return to his camp. The next day, Grant would meet briefly with Lee, hoping to persuade him to influence other Confederate forces to surrender, but Lee would refuse. Grant would leave Appomattox to continue the work of ending the war, and Lee would stay until April 12th, the day of the formal infantry surrender ceremony and the fourth anniversary of the first shot fired at Fort Sumter. 